Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the slight delay in starting this evening. Um, we had a bit of fun and games getting everything set up this evening. It took a little longer than it should have done. So very sorry about that. So we're being very, very spontaneous tonight. We're being so spontaneous, in fact, that I haven't even got my chat running. And all of you are already chatting wildly in the background. So let me get this quickly set up so that I can see what's going on. Ah, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an evening, a night at the movies. It's Friday night, it's organ music night, but tonight we're having a sort of movie-related theme. Now, we're going to be doing this on a regular basis, a very regular basis, because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does, because of all the wonderful film music that's out there. There's so much, I don't know where to start. I certainly wouldn't know where to stop. Um, so what we've done tonight, what we've done tonight, we've, um, well, actually, I don't know what we've done tonight because all day today I was busy doing a million other things, which is why we're slightly late. And in the background, my beautiful assistant, Ms. Vanessa Gartrow, was <sighs> printing out film music. I gave her a sort of list of ideas and she went to various sites on the interweb and found scores for me and some of them I know, some of them I know what's coming at least, uh, and some of them I have no idea, it's going to be spontaneous. So yes, the organ has been set up in a certain way. Now here's the funny thing, you might imagine, because this is a night of film music that I would be doing it all with the theatre organ, I'm not. There will be no theatre organ this evening, unless, of course, you want some theatre organ later on. But I thought we'd stick to Alessandria tonight, the wonderful sample set from the Massioni organ in the wonderful church, uh, the wonderful church, whatever it's called, Evangelista Giovanni, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember the full name. I'm terrible at remembering names. Um, but it's that wonderful Grabowski sample set of the magnificent organ in Alessandria. And we started this evening with one of the most iconic pieces of music to ever be used, or ever to be used, sorry, we don't want to split infinitives, it's disgraceful. One of the most iconic pieces of music ever to be used in a film. What film was it? Who was the director? And why was that piece of music chosen? I'm going to ask you lots of questions tonight. So, you have the chat, you know what to do, you know how to answer these questions. So if you know the answer to those questions, then do let me know. Now, that was very spontaneous. Now here's something that's not quite as spontaneous. First piece of music, Mrs. Gartrow, please. Uh, I think it's two, three pieces of paper. Uh, this, again, is an iconic piece of music from an iconic film. One of the most important films in film history. Jawohl. One of the most important films in film history. The music... The music is by somebody called Anton Karas, or Karash, I'm guessing. Um, I wonder if you know who I'm talking about, or I wonder if you know what film I'm talking about, and I wonder if you know what director I'm talking about, and why, I'm going to keep asking lots of questions tonight, why was this music so important? Why was this film so important? You will recognise it. I don't need to give it a title. As soon as you hear the first five notes, you will know what it is. That's definitely not the right... What is that? That's definitely not the right combination that I had set for this. Oh my God. Nor is that. Okay, well, we're going to be very spontaneous tonight and I'm going to... Oh God, this is probably something I need for something else, isn't it? It is, hold on. Oh no. Oh no, let me see if this is the same. Ah, oh, yes, that's the same. That Right, I need that for that piece of music. So let's go back to this one and reprogram the organ quickly. Spontaneous is the best way. Now, how did I have it set up? I had it set up like this. I had it set up like this. And I probably had that, and I'm guessing I had that, and I probably, no, I'm guessing I had that. Well, number one. That sounds quite good. And then I probably added that later. 
and let me just make sure I've got actually no I added that later didn't I and then I probably took that off again uh, very spontaneous I'm so sorry but this is half the fun of it um, now you will recognize the piece of music as I start get ready for this I forgot to switch my microphone up. We are being so spontaneous tonight. Sorry. Uh, it's one of those nights. Um, the Third Man, Der Dritte Mann. Wonderful stuff. Who wrote it? I told you who wrote it. Anton Karasch wrote it. But who directed the film? What was the film and why was it so important? Is anybody answering our questions? The Harry Lyme theme. Correct. That's exactly what it's called. Yes, The Third Man. There you are. Now, if we go back to where we were before, Stanley Kubrick, thus sprach Zarathustra, also sprach Zarathustra, auf Deutsch, or uh, thus spake Zarathustra, or in English was the original title, and of course it was written not by Wagner, someone said Wagner, it was written by Richard, Richard Strauss, from his tone poem, also sprach Zarathustra, a wonderful piece of music all about the evolution of mankind. Wonderful stuff. Mrs. Garjo, what's next on my list, please? Oh, oh, yes. Now, this is exciting. This is exciting, the next one. Do I want to save those combinations? Yes, I think I better had so that we get it right. That looks good. Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Now, I hope my dad is watching tonight, because this is definitely one for my dad. It was my dad's birthday on Monday. Happy birthday, dad. 
and everyone now can wish my dad a happy birthday. It was his birthday on Monday. He was <laughs> years old. And um, my dad is a lover of film music. I've said this many times before, and I will say it many times again. And he loves film music, especially cowboy music. Who doesn't love good cowboy music? And one of, one of the best cowboy themes that was ever written, one of the best cowboy themes ever written, is this here. And it's not what you think it's going to be. It's not the Magnificent Seven. It's something even better than that. And this music is in the wrong key, I've just noticed. Okay, so I'm going to transpose this into the right key because it... Hold on. Is it in the... Okay, it ends in the right key, but it starts in the wrong key. So I'm going to have to transpose this. Here we go. This is going to be fun. Um, one of the best westerns ever. And I'm not talking about hotels. One of the best westerns ever. And one of the best pieces of music for a cowboy film ever written. And, incidentally enough, the first piece of music I ever arranged in my life was this. Um, at school we uh, sort of set up in the music department, we set up little bands and we arranged music for them. And I arranged this piece of music for, get ready for this, organ, obviously, timpani, du -du 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 timpani, um, what else did we have? We had a guitar, we had, um, we didn't have any drums, we just had the timpani, we had, we had, we had a trombone, or we had two trombones, and we had something else, can't remember. It was a very bizarre arrangement. It was the first arrangement I ever wrote, and it was, well, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. I don't know if it was, but I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. And it sounds something like this, but the original music sounds something like this. Get ready for this. See if you can work it out.
Wow. Puh. That's heavy going. Um, this piece of music that was printed out. High noon, of course. That was high noon. Or with the words, do not forsake me. Oh, my, oh my darling. That's right. Yes, isn't it? Um, written by the wonderful Dimitri Tomkin. Tiomkin. Who Dimitri Tiomkin was, I have no idea, but what a wonderful piece of music. It's got that sort of beautiful bolero thing. Isn't it wonderful? Now, of course, what I can't do here is all those wonderful sort of... There's a... There's wonderful chromatic things. The pi I think it was a piano. Yes, it was a piano in the original version, wasn't it? Of course. Um, I suppose if I'd used the theatre organ, I could have used the piano as the effect there. But yeah, a wonderful piece of music. Um, in C major at the beginning and then modulating to E flat. And this piece of music here was just in E flat. So I transposed the first half. Got to keep myself on my toes, haven't I? Now, there is a lot of other wonderful cowboy music out there. And we will be dedicating an entire evening to Western music coming up very soon. Because I know there's a lot of people who want things like the good, the bad, and the ugly. The theme from The Magnificent Seven. Oh, one of my favorites. And all that wonderful music written by all those wonderful composers that wrote wonderful cowboy music. More of that in the future. Now, what's next, Mrs. Godshaw? Oh, I see it from here. Oh, this is my turn. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think what we'll do before I play this, because this... Oh, my God. It's a... Sc... Oh, no, it's only a... One, two, three. It's a four-part score of... Oh, okay. Well, that's easy enough. We'll do that in a minute. I need to think about that. I need to think about that. Um, I played this piece of music not that long ago. Now, one of the most famous pieces of music ever written, ever, 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 ever written, was um, from one of the first pieces of music ever to win an Oscar for its music. That piece of music was Somewhere Over the Rainbow, just called Over the Rainbow. And of course it was by um, Harold Arlen, a wonderful composer, um, from the film The Wizard of Oz, one of the most important films of, the, of, the fil of film history, because of its use of colour and a black and white film, and because of its wonderful storytelling, and because of all the goodies going on in the background. Wonderful piece of music, wonderful film, everybody needs to have seen it. And here is then a quick version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, while I mentally prepare myself for what's on that piece of paper there. That's definitely not Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and that's not my um, registration that I've set up. Why? Because I left my crescendo pedal open. I'm so stupid. It's one of those nights tonight, isn't it? Hope you're having a good time.
Go. Vanessa in the background. Go. I will go. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow. I see we have a we have a spammer tonight in the chat. That, that that's amazing. That means that means you know that means we're popular. You don't normally get spammers, so that's great. Great fun having a spammer on board. So thankfully Vanessa's here to punch the spammers back out again. Right. I was watching the chat while I very quickly played um, uh, Over the Rainbow there, and I saw a number of people talking about different kinds of film music. And one particular genre in particular, namely James Bond music. How convenient then that the next piece of music is the James Bond theme. And like I just said before, it's only on two pieces of paper, but it's a four-part score which I have to kind of uh, read and organize. Now, I was warned that James Bond would come up tonight, so I set up the organ for James Bond. That looks, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's da 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 dum da dum dum da 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 dum Yeah, that makes sense. And then that is ba dum bitty ba da dum That's that bit, yep. And that's da da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da And that's really bum, really bum, did it, did it, did And then back to that. That's good. So I hope that the music does that. Let me quickly scan the score to make sure the music does what I expect it to do. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. So there's that. There's the theme. Good. There's that. That's fine. Da da did it. But what key is this? Okay, it's in the right key. Good. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, oh, there's a repeat. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yep, that's that. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Yep, that works. And then. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba yep, that oh, even looks right. Well done. Well done. So there's the piece of music for that. Right. The James Bond theme on an organ, on a church organ. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Um, I'm, like I say, I'm doing this all on Alessandria tonight just to prove to the world that, that yes, these organs are capable of doing anything, including this.
Ooh, that worked. That kind of worked. The notes at the end are wrong. The notes at the end are wrong. I'm going to play that again. I'll play it again from the fun bit in the middle. Da -da -ba -de -ba -de. So where was that? That was there. Ready for this swingy bit in the middle. Swing time. Ba -da -ba -de -ba -de. was still wrong wasn't it so the notes are wrong it should be it's not what it says it should be that's what it should be shouldn't it and then that's what it should be ah all right we're gonna have an evening of james bond music one day soon hands up thumbs up if you think we should do an evening of james bond film music that would be good fun wouldn't it that would be good fun. Yeah, I would like that a lot. <sighs> mm. So we've got an evening of cowboy music. We've got an evening of James Bond music. What's next? Mrs. Gottschall, what's next? Oh I, oh, I see the word pirate in the title. That can only mean one thing. God, I can't read that without my glass. Um, ah, the composer is Hans Zimmer, which means it must be Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a very short score for Pirates of the Caribbean. Shall we see if that's correct then? Um, I think what we'll do is... Um, I think we'll just use some James Bond stuff for that. Yeah. Let's play around then with Pirates of of the Caribbean. I've never played this before, so this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Uh, and it looks, it doesn't look that easy. Here we go.
Wow. Okay. That I'm going to do again one day. That is wonderful. Um, that's not difficult at all. It just repeats itself the whole time. How cool is that? He's a pirate is the actual title of that, apparently, by someone called Klaus Badert and Hans Zimmer. Actually, if Hans Zimmer should be watching, or if anyone knows Hans Zimmer and can get in touch with him, there's a link. Now, everybody knows that Hans Zimmer, of course, used the organ in his magnificent um, score to the film Interstellar, and that's wonderful stuff. And that was uh, Roger in the Temple Church in London who was the organist that they used for that, and it's wonderful stuff. But here's my kind of personal link to Hans Zimmer. When I, went, when I, I come from Inverness in the north of Scotland, and um, when I was at school, there was a young chap in one of the other schools in Inverness, an incredibly talented young musician. And um, we, we played together in the wind band. There was a sort of an Inverness school's wind band. We all got together. I can't remember what he played. Was, it, was he a clarinetist? I think he was a clarinetist. I can't remember. If, he, if I'm wrong, I do apologize. Um, I played trombone. And this guy played it. And this guy is now also, he's one of sort of Hans Zimmer's protégés. And... Um, he, he, he scores the music for things like uh, Mission Impossible. Ah, his name is Lorne Balf, and uh, Lorne is originally from Inverness, and Lorne and I were kind of in school together. So um, if either Lorne Balf or Hans Timmer is watching, then here is my version of Hans Timmer's music on the organ. So feel free to give me a call. Anyway, so there you are. Right, that was Pirates of the Caribbean. That's been requested, actually, for a very, very, very long time. People keep requesting that, so finally I've gotten around to doing it. Now, there's going to be copyright claims all over this tonight, so, um, so yeah. Thank you very much um, if you are enjoying yourselves. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up on the way past. Um, it's apparently, it's sort of, it's live stream etiquette to let me know or let us know if you've given us a thumbs up by just putting, you know, showing us you've given us a thumbs up. And that would be great because the more thumbs up we get, the more YouTube loves us, which is great. It's wonderful. How are we doing, Vanessa? How many people have we got watching? Ooh, 242 people are currently watching. That's What is that? Oh, oh, oh. All right, I wasn't expecting that. Was that a that's some Sonderbunch? Okay, Vanessa doesn't even know if this next one was a request and where it came from. Okay, thank you. Pa oh, some parents, I'll put that there. So, yeah, so, oh, let's, we could have an evening of Hans Zimmer music. This is getting exciting now, isn't it? I'm, I, I feel a series coming on, a series of things coming along. So, yeah, this is good fun. This is good fun tonight. Uh, it's hard work for me because it's all sight reading. And this one is definitely sight reading. It's not difficult, but I'm trying to work. Oh, yes, of course. Right. I'm, oh, yes. OK, I'll work that one out. Um, darf ich wissen, was als nächstes kommt? Aha. OK, that makes sense. Right. That makes sense. OK. Right, we're moving to a completely different genre of film music here. And this is, actually, this is a, um, I suppose this is music by one of the most famous film music composers of, shall we say, let's say the 60s and 70s and also the 80s. He lived until not that long ago, actually. And uh, there's a wonderful, wonderful composer and orchestrator, an orchestrator. And... Um, uh, absolutely wonderful. Henry Mancini. We're talking about Henry Mancini here. And Vanessa's just given me the music to the theme tune to Charade. Remember his film Charade? That was, was that Cary Grant and Charade? Was it Cary Grant? Who was, the, who was the main actor in Charade? Come on, remind me. Uh, I think it was Cary Grant. And it's a wonderful piece of music. Oh my God, it's impossible to play though. How are we going to do that? Uh, how are we gonna, what am I going to do that on? I have a thing. Let's do it on God. Let's do it on. Let's do it on that. That's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, let's do it on that. Let's do it on that. Okay. The theme tune to Charade. Um, oh God. Um, that starts with a, a, a drum beat, doesn't it? Dump, 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 da, dump, da, dump, dump, da, dump, da, dump, da, dump, 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 d
Gregory Peck. I think it was Gregory Peck. You may be right. Who was that? Jez. You may be right, Jez. It might have been Gregory Peck. It was either Cary Grant or Gregory Peck. Let's find out. Who, who finds out? Oh, my God. How are we going to do this? Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da. Okay, this is complete improvisation time. Um, the theme music to Charade. It's a very simple melody. I'll play the melody. which is a very simple, very calm melody. Now, the accompaniment that normally goes along to that is hell on toast, basically. And um, there's lots of dum 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 The bassist is going completely crazy. Oh, here we are. We have some answers. It was Cary Grant, wasn't it? It's was Cary Grant. Yes, Murray got it right. Murray Linton. Thank you very much, Murray. It's Cary Grant with Audrey Hepburn. There you go. Um, yes, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. Joachim Schuster got it right as well. Who else got it right? Nancy got it right. Uh, who else got it right? Audrey Hepburn, Nancy again. There we go. Who else got it right? Probably quite a few people. Viv, uh, Vivian said it was Audrey Hepburn. IVL said it was Cary Grant. There we are. So people are getting it right. That's good. Good, 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 good. Can you guess what's coming next? It's Something Else by Henry Mancini. I will fight my way through Charade, and you see if you can guess what's coming next from Henry Mancini.
Whew. Something like that, wasn't it? The great thing about doing that, it looks very complicated, you know? <laughs> Faffing about down on the pedals there, playing lots of notes, but it's just like a double bassist playing notes. Um, you just sort of, you make sure you get the right first note, and then in between you just play whatever you want. It's cheating, I suppose, but definitely good fun. Right, that was Sherrod from Henry Mancini. So do we have any guesses as to what's coming next from Henry Mancini? I have to go back a bit, I suppose. So let me see, where did I ask? Where did I ask? Ooh, here we go, ooh, ooh, yes. Right, there was the, there we go. Someone said Dirty Dancing. No, I don't think uh, Henry Mancini did Dirty Dancing. At least not the music. He may have been a dirty dancer. We don't know. All right. Let me see what's next then. Someone says Pink Panther. Graham said the Pink Panther. Razbuzz. Is it Razbuzz or is it Ratzbutz? Is it English or German? Let us know. The Baby Elephant Walk. We could do that one day. Someone else says, oh, Matt Leach. Hi, Matt. Matt says the Pink Panther. That's good. Thank you very much. Who else? Peter Gunn. Ooh, Peter Gunn. Ooh, that'd be hard work. Hmm? Mm hmm? What do we say here? Any others? Any others? Pink Panther. Moon River. <gasps> Viv. Vivian. Moon River. Yes. Oh, we could do that. Right. I think we have to do a Henry Mancini night as well, don't we? Yes. Yep, we could definitely do that. What else have we got? Uh, Moon River again, Pink Panther again, for Gleiswanderer, yeah! Hello, Gleiswanderer. Hello, Schwiegermutter, sensational. That's uh, my mother-in-law, that's her favorite word, sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Someone says, I don't know, so there we are. Organ for heart, the entertainer. The entertainer, that was a piece of film music, we can do that later. Um, <laughs> Peer Gint, I think you mean, Peter Gunn, don't you? Would that be the one? <laughs> Vanessa just said, how about Titanic? I thought, oh, <laughs> God! Any of, any of that nonsense. Right, I'll tell you what. Here it is then. Give me the next piece, please, Mrs. Gartra. The next piece of music... <laughs> the next piece of music is, is not Titanic. God, cheesy rubbish. We're not going to play that. Thank you very much. That's it. Yeah. This is... A piece of music by Henry Mancini. I'm guessing it's... Oh, God. It's one of those arrangements that's impossible to read. Um, yeah. It's the most famous piece of music that Henry Mancini wrote. I think you might recognise it. Let's see if we can play around with this somewhat. So that will be the beginning one. And then we...
the theme from the Pink Panther. One of Henry Mancini's, or probably Henry Mancini's most famous piece of music. Ooh, yes, that was fun. Right, Mrs. Gartrell has just run away. Where have you gone? Don't leave me. She ran away. Bringst du mir bitte was zu trinken, wenn du dabei bist? Ah, so. Uh, she had to go and look out for the dog. Was macht er? Apparently the dog is downstairs pining for us. That's terrible, isn't it? Well, let's take the time to... Um, oh, I can have a little rest, actually. Um, so, yes, yeah, so what do you think of our film night music so far? I hope you're enjoying it so far. Whew! Yes. Now, so we've got some rather good ideas for future film music nights, haven't we? We started out with... What did we start out with? We started out with Also Sprach Zarathustra. Okay, so that's classical music in film. We could do a series on that. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? Then we had the Harry Lime theme. So we could do music from important films from history. Or we could do, ah, I don't know, Orson Welles music. That's probably not very much, is it? But we could do things, yeah, we could do, or we could do music by important directors. So that would be Kubrick, Orson Welles. Tarantino, Ooh, that'd be oh Tarantino, that would be a night all in its own, wouldn't it? We had what else did we have? We had oh, we had cowboy music, of course we did. Yes, we had cowboy music. We had James Bond music. James Bond music, that's months worth of work there. James Bond stuff is wonderful. Henry Mancini, we just did there, absolutely wonderful. So yes, definitely good fun. Um, what about 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 sort of ooh. well so if we're going to do music by. Uh, famous directors and things, and we have to include things like. Sorry, I pressed a button. I'm sorry. What did I do? I pressed a button. It turned the screen to black. But you still heard me, did you? I'm sorry about that. See, when Vanessa's not here, things go wrong. Du, du darfst einfach nicht weggehen. Das Bild war weg. Irgend Keine Ahnung, das Bild war weg. Keine Ahnung. Alles weg. Ah, thank you very much. Is there something in that, or is it just yeah. water? Oh, it's water with some lime juice. Cheers. <laughs> it's one of those nights today. Everything's going wrong. Mrs. Gartrell bumping into the camera on the way past. So, yes, so. <laughs> and banging her elbow off the chair. You're having a good night tonight, aren't you? Yes. Isn't she wonderful? Anyway, so, yeah, we've got, <laughs> we've got plenty of stuff coming up. Now, there is some. Uh, someone's just written it. Someone. I saw that. Someone just wrote it there. Uh, there it is. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Someone wrote the word. It was Vivian Chu again. It was Vivian again. It was Vivian Disney. Disney. We have to. We have to. Have to. Have to have Disney music, don't we? And I think. Let me do some Disney music for you right now. Let me find a. Let me find something. Yeah, let's do that again. Disney music. Disney music is wonderful. Um, guck mal, was danach kommt, bitte. Mary. Danach, ja, genau. Gib mal. Und was danach kommt. Ha, 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 ha. Wonderful. What's that? <gasps> I don't want to show you this, but it's so much fun. Hold on, that's wrong. Hä? Huh? There's something missing there. I was going to play something exciting, but half the music's missing, so I'm going to have to make it up. Oh my god. That's not going to work because it's hot. I'm going to have to improvise. Half of that music is missing. It really is one of those nights. Disney music, listen to this.
a little medley then of sort of spontaneous Disney tunes. And we had music there from the Jungle Book, The Bare Necessities, and I'm the King of the Swingers, the Jungle VIP, who, who sang The Bare Necessities. Don't look it up on Google, only answer if you know. Who sang The Bare Necessities and who was the singer for I'm the King of the Swingers? Walt Disney was a great lover of jazz music and two of the greatest jazz crooners, jazz singers of the time, were actually roped in to um, do The Jungle Book, which is wonderful stuff. And funnily enough, the guy who sung Baloo the Bear, who did um, The Bear Necessities, had been a jazz singer and turned into sort of a country singer for whatever reason. And um, thanks to Walt Disney, got back to the world of jazz again. So I wonder, do you know who we're talking about? Now, we can't do everything tonight, obviously, because that would take forever and um, we'd be here all night. So we're going to do, uh, like I say, we are definitely going to do a, um, uh, a series of film music videos. As someone's asking, uh, does Fraser have any videos in a the theatre organ? Yes, Fraser has lots of videos in the theatre organ. And I asked you at the beginning, do you want some theatre organ tonight or not? We don't necessarily know. but. Um, there are so many different things we can do for our film music ideas, but to finish off this main part of this evening, there will of course be an encore or two, or maybe three, we don't know, but Mrs. Garcho, there is a piece of paper on the desk. One genre of music that we have left out so far is one of my favourite genres of music, and um, I'd love to be able to show you this without showing you what the title is, but as soon as you see it on the, as soon as you see it on the music stand, you'll know what it is. There's absolutely wonderful music out there that belongs to a completely different genre. It is, of course, the genre science fiction. And we could, we could include things like Star Wars in there, which would then be the music of John Williams. But I think we will dedicate an entire evening to the music of John Williams. So a lot of people were requesting things like, um, requesting things like, um, what was I talking about? Oh, it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, all that kind of stuff. So that's all John Williams. And I think we will definitely do a John Williams evening. So that would then include Star Wars. But how about, how about this? Oh, by the way, someone wrote Phil Harris. Yes, Phil Harris was Baloo the Bear and Peter King. It wasn't Louis Armstrong that sung I'm the King of the Swingers. His first name was Louis, but it wasn't Louis Armstrong. Think more Italian and you've got it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is something that everybody needs to have in their repertoire. I'm going to play four notes and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about.
topic of Star Trek then, and the wonderful, wonderful original theme in all its glory. There's a middle part to that as well, which I didn't have here on the piece of paper. And um, I noticed playing the second one, the uh, Next Generation theme, that it was all wrong. So one of these stupid pieces of music from the internet. I'm very sorry about that, but that's going to be, that's going to be definitely something we do coming up very soon. An evening of... An evening of... Come on, computer. I'm having problems with the computer, and I'm Scottish. What does that mean? <clears throat> wasn't that always... The original series was the best, wasn't it? Captain Kirk, Scotty, we need warp factor 10 in five seconds or we're toast. And then Scotty in the background, I can give you 25 miles an hour in a week, Captain. It's, uh, it's always the same, wasn't it? But yes, wonderful stuff. Gene Roddenberry. What would the world have done without Gene Roddenberry? Ladies and gentlemen, look, it's a theatre organ. Let's see if we can find something to play on a theatre organ. Was that film music? It certainly was. Ain't Misbehaving by Mr. Thomas Fats Waller at the organ. Now, this will be an entire evening's worth of stuff coming up in the near future. I had a wonderful idea. And our good friend and Garchel gang founder, um, Mr. Graham Twist. Mr. Graham Twist is one of those guys out there who just knows what to say at the right time. And Graham is... If you don't know, Graham is a wonderful composer of organ music. Beautiful stuff. It's played by people from all around the world here on YouTube and otherwise. It's played in concerts as well. It's wonderful stuff. Graham is a very good composer of music. Graham is a very good player of organ music. And Graham, like I say, has just wonderful ideas. And Graham came up with an idea for me that we are working on, Mrs. G and I, and that is to see if we can find somewhere in the film archives of the world 
a copyright free silent movie ha ha that we can then get a copy of play a silent film accompaniment on the theatre organ too and then post that as an evening's entertainment for you guys. Who would like us to do something like that? Now this is of course, you know, this is going to be something that that's going to be a lot of work and um, will probably take quite a lot of time to find and sort out but if you're into that kind of thing let us know and we'll see if we can sort it out. This would be great fun. So silent film accompaniment, that's what these instruments were built for but then of course they took over and were able to play everything. Sorry, it's a bit thirsty tonight. Here's our final piece of music for this evening and it's going to be, it's nothing to do with film music whatsoever, it's just me having fun on the organ, it's going to be a boogie woogie on the theatre organ and I'm going to, I'm going to jazz it up big time so get ready for this. We're going to finish off this evening entertainment with a boogie woogie on the theatre organ. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for supporting. Any financial um, goodies that came in there from you? Thank I saw quite a few people supporting here via YouTube. Thank you very much for that. I saw some people mentioning they've posted some PayPal donations, which is absolutely delightful and absolutely wonderful of you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, all of your support is pumped into the channel in one way or another. So it's great to know that uh, you appreciate what we're doing here. We love doing it for you. And of course, we have a hell of a lot of fun doing it ourselves. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back on Sunday evening with a slightly more gentle live stream. Sunday night is organ music night. We'll be a little more gentle. Back to sort of more classical and light music. And uh, we may even have a bit of theatre organ on Sunday night too. Why not tune in and find out? Same time, same place, Sunday night. Until then, here's a bit of boogie.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this evening. It's late, it's hot, it's dry. We need a break. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying our first entry into the world of film music here on the organ. We, Mrs. Garcho, Vanessa and I, hope you had a wonderful evening. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for... Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it now. It's never too late. You can help us out that way too, you know. Simple as that. Thanks very much, folks. I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday evening. Have a wonderful Saturday and we'll see you very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.